All right, you're recording. I'm going to try to simplify this. This is a weekly crafter's tarot. So the first tarot reading I did was overcomplicated. And uh, I do like using the chaos tarot spread, but it's, uh, it's rather... Um, it's rather a production to get everything set up. So what I'm going to try to do here in my craft studio is do a Monday reading. Just a quick, easy reading for anyone who happens to find this. So this is for uh, Monday, whatever today's date is. I'll put it up on the screen. I don't even know what date it is. But let's take a look and see what the energies are for this week. This is really just for anybody who happens to be finding this going for radical simplicity. Let's take a look. We're going to do three cards. Two of them just jumped out. Aha, lovely. All right, here's what we got. All right in the middle, let's see how I got this lined up. I can probably zoom in on this, maybe. Come on, you. Right in the middle, we got strength. Strength is the card of, well, it's of strength. And it's about demonstrating strength and um, relying on your inner strength and knowing that you're stronger than you think you are. A lot of times we think we're not strong. We think we're, we think we're uh, struggling. And, you know, we are struggling, but there's also ways to uh, find inner strength that maybe we're not aware of. I'm going to read this as the recent past. The Eight of Wands reversed. I usually read the Eight of Wands as um, <clears throat> things coming to ground, projects coming to fruition, things coming to an end. So it may feel like in the recent past, you've had some projects that either are taking longer than you expected, or uh, they, they didn't quite come out the way you'd hoped they would. So that may be something that you're struggling with and something which, you know, the strength to... Uh, the strength to deal with that is something that you're kind of accessing right now. And, you know, I love the fact that strength, you know, when, when you have situations that aren't exactly how you expect them to be, you do have to call upon your strength and you do have to rely upon that, that higher guidance and that higher wisdom. So um, if, you're, if you're facing some, if you're struggling with some disappointments, if you're struggling with some uh, difficulties, just know that your own inner strength is going to be sufficient to the task. And then near future, we have the moon reversed. Um, so the moon is often, I often read it as uh, illusion or being fooled um, or fooling yourself in some way. So the moon reversed suggests that through this exercise of strength, of gentle strength, what I love about the strength card is it's this beautiful, lovely lady and she's, she's, a lot of people say she's taming the lion. I say she's petting the lion. She's kind of giving the lion a pet on the old snout there. Sweet little lion and a nice lady. So um, I don't know where I was going with that other than to say through the exercise of gentle, um, thoughtful strength, you will address disappointments or, or perhaps just, I don't want to say disappointments. Disappointment seems really strong. It's more about just feeling a little bit off, feeling like, you know, things, things just aren't quite exactly the way you want them to be, but that's okay. That's the way life is. Life is, life is like that sometimes. How, you know, access your strength and say, what the hell? It doesn't really matter. And then for the, for the near future, I was getting to, the moon reversed. Um, as I've said, the, I often read the moon as illusion or self, self-illusion or self-delusion. Um, and the fact that it's reversed suggests to me that through that gentle strength, you will, able to, you will be able to see things more clearly. Um, a, a new clarity is coming in. So, and it could possibly be that the new clarity is coming in as a result of the fact that maybe you had some disappointments and because of the disappointments, you had to access strength. And because you had to access strength, you will then be able to see past the illusion and uh, see more clearly the reality of the situation and perhaps, perhaps even find a new way of addressing the problem uh, that will be even more prosperous, fruitful, and beneficial 
than, uh, than the original way that you tried over here. So I would read this for this coming week as, and again, I don't know if I'm reading it for this coming week or if it's just the energies for right now, I don't really know. I'm figuring out this tarot stuff um, on my path to become the world's greatest YouTube tarot reader. Um, but I would say that um, I, I like the progression of this. It kind of suggests a little bit of a challenge, you access some strength, and then you overcome some of the, uh, the illusion to hopefully find a new path that is even more beneficial and prosperous. All right, that's my attempt at super simple tarot for this Monday of whatever date it is that I can't even remember what date it is. It's some day in March. But it doesn't really matter. It's whenever you find this particular reading, it's going to be applicable to you. Okay, have a wonderful day. Bye.